on how to make a mount to mount this Walmart cooler in the bed of a Razor Pro XP. Um, I've already got the rigid packouts homemade mount for that. I've got one side kind of roughly together tied down through this hole that was already in the bed and uh, just welded on some tabs to latch in to the mounting points on this cooler. I'm just going to kind of mirror it on this side, the passenger side. I've got it all over here ready to be welded up, kind of where it needs to go. I ain't no welder, but if you've got scrap metal laying around, want to save $70, $80, and it's worth giving a shot. Like I said, I ain't no welder, but she ain't going to the moon, so. So now that we got the other one welded up and outside cooling off, we gotta figure out how we wanna trim this to make it not look like So that's kind of what I was thinking back here. Maybe, hmm. Trim down along here, and then along the bend. Should we leave some kind of belly in here? Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Do as much of the trimming on uh, this machine as possible. It's because it makes it so quick. Oh, this is hard to film and do. Just nip that corner off. So after about three minutes and 22 seconds grinding uh, all the imperfections out, cut and chopping, I think that's what we are run with. So here's what it was, here's the passenger side, trimmed up, that's kind of what I took out of it. So we'll see what it looks like on the machine. That looks pretty good. We just gotta copy it for this side. It's been approximately two minutes and 27 seconds of grinding, but here they are. They're ready to go. They've been beautified. So these were all scrap metal from my work. Cost me nothing but time, and I think they're gonna work pretty good. Here they are in. Uh, I just use these, I don't know what they're called, the little tie downs that go into a little rubber, um, little rubber thing. I don't know if you can see them down there. Yeah, there you go. That's all I use to tie these down. It's worked well for the toolboxes, so. play is just that little bit of movement in between these tabs and the 
the holes in the cooler, but man, I think that worked out great. All there's left to do is paint them, but that's pretty boring. So there you go. There's how to make cheap and free, if you have scrap metal, cooler tie downs for the Walmart cooler. Well, since no one asked for it, we're gonna do a cold start with the exhaust open. Here she is in her home for the winter. I know it might not look like winter out there, but here in Michigan, it's actually 18 degrees today. Um, it's actually in an old paint booth. Yeah, like I was saying, next video, it's gonna be all about the homemade cutout. Thanks for watching. See you later.